So the 2024 Mustangs are here. And if there's one feature that has been polarizing since day one, it is the screens on the dash. Some people love them, some people hate them, and some people love to hate them. Now, whether you're talking about that perfect one-piece smile on the premium or that gap tooth dual screen on the base model, the screens both function the exact same way and have a ton of information available for the driver. Now, how they're installed on the car is definitely been something a lot of people are not happy about. They say it looks like they're just basically bolted to the dash. And while I feel they could have done a little bit better job of kind of integrating into the dash look, when you're behind the wheel, those screens give you a ton of information and say we take a deep look at exactly what they can do. And the first thing you're gonna notice when you get into a base model is you now have two screens. And I'm not gonna lie, yes, it looks like two basically iPads mounted to your dash. It does, the separation really kind of changes the look, but you get a lot of information from these clusters. And as you can see, we have it on the base mode right now. We have it on the Fox body cluster, which I don't care what anybody says, it looks cool. It's white during the day, it turns green at night. It brings back all those retro feelings of driving a Fox body, so it's very cool. So we're gonna show you both screens. We're gonna start with the middle screen and show you what that does. First of all, you can see at the bottom of the screen, you have all your HVAC controls are on there. You can adjust your temperature, the froster, air conditioning, everything's gonna be on there. Then you've got your driver assistance. You know, that's gonna give you your lane changing, your pre-collision, exit warnings, you know, all the basic stuff that your newer vehicles are going to do. You've got your favorites, your owner's manual. The thing you're gonna use the most though, is gonna be my Mustang. Going in here is allows you to basically customize what your car is gonna be doing. And again, you can save these modes if you want to. So starting over here, you've got your exhaust. You have your quiet mode, your regular exhaust, the sport, and then obviously the one we all love, the track where the valves are open and it's basically loud all the time. And like previous generations, you have your track apps. You have your line lock, you have acceleration timer, brake performance, lap timer, all that stuff is in even the base model Mustang. Going back here, auxiliary gauges. You can use the center as a gauge pod. You can even add five gauges. You can change the look of it. Then you can go in and you can actually switch what you want the different gauges to be. So if you want big oil temperature in the middle, air, fuel, engine, whatever you want, you can set it up. When you hit it, and then when the car is running, you have an additional set of gauges right in the middle, which is a pretty cool setup. Go back here. Custom mode, you can set owner profiles and you can choose what drive mode you want, what steering you want, traction control on off, how you want the exhaust, how you want the gauges. So every time you get in the car and use your profile, it's gonna give you your custom mode. When you go into here, you can see you've got six different presets for all those different features. So again, you can have it set up for how you wanna drive in the winter or the summer or whatever you personally like, but you have all those presets available to you. And then my color, like you've seen before, there's two different prime colors and you can change the colors for pretty much anything you want. Again, similar to a previous model, but again, it's all right here on the screen. And then cluster theme, which we all love. You know, you have your normal cluster and it shows you actually there on the big screen in the middle before it changes the actual cluster. So there's your regular cluster. That's what your sport, your track, calm, which is kind of funny, just gives you that right there in the middle. And then of course, the one that everybody loves, box body. Now also in theme, you have match drive mode. When you click on that, basically whatever mode you set up for track, sport, whatever, it is going to change the cluster as you go. But if not, like I said, you can pick one and go with it. So if you like a lot of us, you know, you're retro, you dig that box body screen, you can put it in box body cluster and you can go to track mode, sport mode, drag mode, whatever else you wanna do, but it's gonna keep that Fox cluster in the dash. So again, all kinds of options as far as adjustment and programming. I'm gonna show you the HVAC, not that you need to see that, but it is kind of crazy that it changes the graphic on the screen. Shows you what vents are working at what time. Then you can choose like, you know, you've got your auto mode, obviously, you have your air conditioning, it's trying to chill us out here. But these are always at the bottom, so you don't need the big screen to see what it's doing. But again, you can choose, you know, obviously temperature, everything else, but it automatically defaults back to the bottom of the screen. So you can still make man, you can still basically make these minor adjustments, turn AC off, whatever, and still have the main screen doing its thing. Now to get to my Mustang, you can go through the dash and change everything that way, or simply hit the Mustang button on the dash and brings you right to it. 
Now I show you a little bit of the gauge cluster itself. Now we have the car turned off, but if you've had a 2018 or seen that 401A before, this actually is gonna look pretty familiar to you. Tons of information, your tack, your speedometer, gauges in the middle, all kinds of issues with the lights doing, temperature, gas, all that kind of fun stuff. Then you go through the mode. So this is a normal mode. And you get the picture of the car in there. We'll switch it to sport. Sport changes the car, changes to a track, gives this really cool infographic. Then goes to a completely different looking gauge cluster. All right, then we'll switch to the next mode. Again, you go to track, it brings up the car on a racetrack. And again, it makes changes. It takes off the traction control, gives you a completely different cluster. Again, same idea as the previous generation, just a lot more detail to the screen. And then finally, we also have a drag strip mode, which has the car on the drag strip doing a burnout. Again, shuts off all your traction control, gets rid of that, and gives you a very tack-oriented cluster. Then after drag strip, you have a slippery mode, which basically makes the throttle be very, very soft for that kind of weather. But then you have custom. Custom is when I showed you that screen where you have that six presets. This is where you're gonna see those. When you go into custom, whatever one you choose, it's gonna make the cluster, trash control, exhaust, any way you wanna set it up. I'm gonna tell you right now, the functionality between the base and the premium on screen is exactly the same, but now it's a one-piece curved glass display as opposed to the two-piece that is found on the base model. The premium comes with the upgraded stereo. It also comes with an upgrade to your HVAC system. You're gonna get a dual zone heat and air conditioning along with the heated cooled seats on the premium, not available on the base. So whether you love the way they look or hate the way they look, and trust me, I get what people are saying. They kind of look like they were sort of an afterthought. When you're behind the wheel, those screens give you a ton of information and really kind of take the Mustang to the next level. And even the base model, I mean, old base models had that tiny little screen you couldn't see anything. Well, now you're getting a huge screen that gives you a ton of information. And whether you like it or not, I mean, modern cars, those screens are what buyers are looking for, and we'll see if Mustang buyers agree.